Hello there, my name is Anshuman and as you know, I make videos on various topics on retail. Today's video is all about answering your questions on visual merchandising. Let's clear up some common doubts about VM. Alright, without any further delay, let's start off with the first question. What does a visual merchandiser actually do? To put it simply, a visual merchandiser is responsible for making retail stores visually appealing. They work to create an amazing shopping experience for customers and are the ones behind eye-catching retail windows and well-organized stores. If you want more details on what a visual merchandiser does, check the related video in the description. Coming to our next question. What is the typical hierarchy of visual merchandisers in a retail organization? Now this question refers to the reporting structure within an organization. While the hierarchy may vary from one organization to another, let me show you what a typical visual merchandiser hierarchy looks like. Now as you can see, it starts with a store VM and from there you can progress. Now there are cluster VMs and then area VMs and then you have regional VM and then you have VM head or the marketing head. So this is how it progresses. In cases where the store size is small and that organization doesn't require dedicated store VM, the hierarchy can start with a cluster or area VM. Pretty easy to understand, isn't it? Moving on to our next question. Uh, how can someone get into visual merchandising? Well, there could be a lot of ways you can land up being a visual merchandiser. But I'm going to talk about two very common scenarios. One, about the people who are already working in retail industry but in a different role. So if you are already working in retail and have developed an interest in VM, you can reach out to your brand's visual merchandising team for tips. Consider taking a part-time VM course while transitioning into the field. Okay, now second type of individuals are the ones who have attended a design or fashion college and are looking to explore a creative field in fashion retail world. Now you can directly apply for VM roles through company website or college placement opportunities. Now moving on to our next question. What challenge do visual merchandisers face? Very interesting question. Visual merchandisers often face challenges such as frequent travel, long work hours, lack of recognition and criticism at workplace. To learn more about the realities of being a visual merchandiser, you can actually watch this video. It's in the description actually. Moving on to our next question. What courses are available in visual merchandising? There are numerous courses available and selecting the best one could be confusing. Now there are numerous design institutes and they offer multiple courses in design and VM. People with background in fashion or communication design can also pursue a career in VM. And nowadays specific courses focused on VM only are available ranging from short term certificate courses to diploma or degree courses. The duration of these courses can vary from one month to an year. So if you want to know more about it, again, go to the description and check out the particular video about it. I'm going to move to our next question. It's really exciting. Is it necessary to create a portfolio when applying for a visual merchandising role? Absolutely. Remember, it is visual merchandising. In any VM interview, you will be expected to showcase visuals that support your work. There are multiple ways to create a VM portfolio such as PowerPoint presentation, a PDF file or a video. Be creative and let your work shine through a well-structured VM portfolio. So the next time while you're applying for a VM profile, please, and I say it over and over again, that please don't forget to send your VM portfolio along with your CV. Okay, next move on to the next one. Why one should not choose a career in VM? If you find it challenging to work under pressure or handle time sensitive projects, visual merchandising might not be the right career path for you. Additionally, if you prefer more relaxed and laid back job without extensive physical work or long hours, visual merchandising might not align with your preferences. Okay, I'm going to take the last question, which is what is the salary range for visual merchandising? The salary of visual merchandisers largely depend on the organization the location and the level of experience that you have so typically with zero to four years of four years of experience you are expected to earn between 35 to 90 thousand indian rupees 
per month of course these figures can go up and down not just go by that Anshuman has said that so this is what the figures are going to be well 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 the questions are over but let me tell you that i am here to help you in any sort of doubts related to the retail industry drop a comment catch me over socials or write a mail and if you like the video give it a thumbs up or share with family and friends who are looking forward to make a career in retail till then anshuman is signing off this was a short video isn't it i'll see you in next video with more exciting content on retail and visual merchandising and merchandising and buying and whatnot stay tuned keep watching i'll see you in next video